Hey guys, what's up? It's Jaju Shufu here. Um, this is my new channel and my new series, NCAA Football 2011. Yes, I'm a year behind. New game out 2012, but I'm a cheap guy, so I got 2011 because my friend Drew Fensler um, convinced me to do it. And yeah, I'm playing with Navy for my college season. Because I'm not really a big fan of all the other big colleges, and I'm kind of headed towards the Navy when I'm in, when I'm older, so, what the hell, just going to play with Navy, they're about a B-minus overall team, not the best, but you're going to see right here that uh, I tweaked my schedule, I had an F rating schedule, and I bumped it up to an A-plus schedule, meaning, for people that you don't know, that, um, I'm facing big ranked teams with a sucky ass team. And for the first game, it's which is this one, it's okay, I face the Maryland Terps. It's a rivalry game, so I didn't change it. And they were a okay team to beat, but my next episode almost had me pee in my pants because I face Georgia Tech. But yeah. On this one, uh I'm not going to spoil the score, but I will tell you that there's one created player on Navy that I had to put in there personally. It's me. Uh, I'm number 13, but I'm going to probably change it so I can get it to number 2, which is my favorite number. And uh, right here you're going to see... Oh, also I'm quarterback. Going back to that, but yeah. Uh, I hate Navy's... Uh, offensive playbook because it's option meaning for the people that don't know that when you run an option offense your quarterback constantly runs his ass off and gets sacked it's good and efficient if you have a fast quarterback and good blocking I have a fast quarterback terrible blocking my O-line sucks so I'm using Indiana's playbook called pistol it's more of a shotgun formation mainly passing which is good because I have a good quarterback and an okay halfback but Yep, um, that's basically it. I'm not going to talk too much on this. It's a 45-minute video, <laughs> so yeah, I'm not going to go too in-depth, but um, Hello, football fans. I will say, with if you can still hear me over the, and Aaron Andrews on the commentator on this, but uh, it's time for some college football. Brought to you by I just ESPN came from a channel ESPN. with some of my friends, it didn't really work, so I'm doing this one, and I just want to say that... Uh, I used to do the Madden NFL 10 uh, playthroughs and everything, but now I'm starting to see that NCAA is a lot more fun than uh, Madden, and you have more schools, more bowls to go to, more records that are more fun to break. So, I mean, yeah. I'm going to play through the season with the Navy midshipmen, um, try to make it to a bowl game. I'm not promising the... Uh, BCS National Championship, but I will promise you that if I make it to a bowl game, I will win that one. So, yep. Well, I guess that's it for now. Enjoy this game. Please try to watch all the way through because this was actually a good game. And just try to watch through all my football ones. I know it's a long video. I guess you can, if you want to, you can probably skip through some of the scenes, which is probably what I would do. But um, some of the plays are really good. Don't criticize me. I just started playing this on. I am honestly an amateur at this. I will admit that I suck. I'm getting better though. And you're going to see that I scramble a lot, which leads me to getting sacked about maybe an average. I've had like a high of four sacks a game. All my fault, not the old man's fault. Because I never stay in the pocket. But, yep, there's kickoff. Um. Little spoiler, From this guy gets line. rocked right there. Oh, what a hit. But leaving off that note, hope out. you guys enjoy this game. I had a fun time playing it, so yep, just be ready for the season. Oh, one last thing. The reason why I'm doing this specifically is because college season is over. And I realize that since we're in the off season, you guys can't really see any football unless you play a game like this. Well, 
Stewart. I'm just doing this because it's just a little entertainment I can do during the off season, you know, get you guys still, you know, kind of ready up for next season. Next season, even though it's not till August, <laughs> but still. Um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this. Um, I know Maryland's a bad team, but like I said, next episode, Georgia Tech. It is ranked number 13. I hate playing them, and yeah, I, I'm gonna, I'm not doing live commentaries because I'm probably just gonna cuss my head off, but guys, this has been Yaju Shufu from my first NCAA Football 11 game, and I'm out of here. See ya. Incredible series for the defense, and they get them out after three plays. That offense has to regroup and come up with a plan to move the ball down the field next time. It's fourth down. Looks like they're going to punt it away here. Jones, back deep to return. He's got the corner. Yeah. He makes it out to maybe the 43-yard line. Nice yardage on the run back. This drive will start at the 43-yard line. They hand it off. And they get nice yardage on that run. Neal picks up five with the carry. That brings up second and five. It's second down, five to go. Ball on the 48. Now he's scrambling. Throws it and it's tipped away. And he did a nice job breaking up that pass. Well, he did a great job here of not risking a big gain. Instead, he just batted it down. Looks to pass. Tackle made at the 45-yard line. That's cutting it really close. That makes it they converted on that run by an eyelash. From the 45-yard line, first down. Can't find anyone open. Boy, was he drilled as he let go of that football. Yeah, he's going to feel that one tomorrow. That makes it second and ten. Throws a strike over the middle. Excellent execution on one side of the ball that time. And it looks to me like the defense was in a little state of confusion. Let's see if they can pull themselves together. From the 20 yard line. It's first down. Let's see if their play calling changes now that they're in the red zone for the first time. Neal gets the ball left side. Tackled outside after a nice pickup. That's good for Neal. Gets about four yards on the counter play. It's second and seven. and it's almost picked off. Great reaction to get his hands in the way of that pass. That's not an easy play to make. Here's the eighth play of the series. Fires over the middle. Touchdown. The tight end scored that time. And with authority. Braddy's a physical football player, but he's also got the finesse to make a big impact in the passing game. He splits the uprights with the extra point. And now we're going to take a look at the drive summary.
They'll go to work at the 24. Outstanding job there by the linebacker to find his way through on the blitz. They find themselves in a hole here after that sack. It's second and long. And they bring him down for a sack on the play. Pressure got to him that time. Now they brought the heat here. The linebacker was able to spring free for a big play. Drops back to pass. Pressure coming. They couldn't pick up the first down, so they'll have to punt this one away. It's a good hold by the defense on third down. Now their punt returner will get a chance to make something happen. It's fourth down. They come out in a punt formation. Jones will be the return man. Tries to get around the corner. He gets out to about the 45-yard line. Six points and a pretty display of passing was a result of their last drive. Kirk, do you expect the defense to take a different approach here? When this quarterback is on, he is on. It already seems like whatever this defense is trying just isn't working. But maybe if they add just a little bit more pressure, it might be able to force him into a mistake. Not a real fancy play here, just a smartly run route. Good protection and a well-placed ball. Most times, you don't need much more than that. First and ten. Ball on the 29-yard line. Can't find anyone open. That could have been a big play for the defense. Yeah, even though he had a good shot at picking it off, it's still a heck of a play to force the incomplete pass. Second down, ten to go. Looking to throw. Looks for his running back. Incomplete. Incomplete. Yield was the intended receiver on the play. Third down. Third down, and they need to get it to the 19. The pressure got there, and it's intercepted. And now he's got room to run. He's at the 30. To the 10. He's all the way home. Touchdown. And that was a super play by the defender. Excellent interception and an even better return for the score. Here's the PAT to tie this thing up. He splits the uprights for the extra point. it out to about the 21 yard line it's going to be interesting now to see if this quarterback can put that last throw behind him this is a very important drive for this offense they choked away the lead on their last drive but they can make up for it here by putting some points on the board back to pass pulls it in and he's in the open field down the sideline and they finally push him out at the 40. that's just a great call by the coordinator there going to the air on first down and 10. Ball on the 40-yard line. Looking to throw. Tries to get out of trouble, but he can't shake the defense. And they came with just too much pressure for the offensive line to handle. Yeah, that's an excellent play by this defensive end to sneak by the tackle and get to the quarterback for a loss. We played a quarter, and we're all tied up. The tight end's got it for a first down. And they bring him down at the 17. 
Good looking play there. I think they did a great job up front here, allowing the quarterback enough time to look downfield and spot the open man. From the 17 yard line, first down. Their last red zone trip resulted in a touchdown. I don't expect this one to be any different. To the end zone, no good. That ball had interception written all over it, but the defender couldn't hang on. I think the quarterback there was a little too intent on hitting that receiver. Flares it and almost had it intercepted. Number 15. Third down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 17 yard line. Take the defense. Warren picks up about four yards with a catch. And it's through the uprights. And you gotta think they're pretty happy with holding them to a field goal right there. Navy ready to kick this one off. Bennett takes it from the six. He makes it out to maybe the 20-yard line. And here we go with the offense ready to get things going again. This drive will start at the 20-yard line. Off the right side, doesn't get much. Good tackle. And the halfback carries for a pickup of three. You won't break or bend this linebacker. He won't miss that tackle too often. Till the last moment. And the defense really missed a golden opportunity there. That's what separates a good player from a great player. When you have a chance like that, you need to take advantage of it. Drops back to pass. Loose football. Good hustle there by the D lineman. It's often an overused term when referring to defensive linemen, but that's what they mean when they talk about a guy who has a motor that's running. He never quit and he played to the whistle. He's scrambling. And he's sacked. And they get a nice defensive play. And here's a play you don't see very often. That time they brought pressure from the corner position, and the line couldn't pick him up, and he was able to wrap the quarterback up for a sack. That's a good defensive call. It's complete. And he's hammered down. What a throw for a big game. That is a great example of the quarterback seeing the whole field and finding the guy who had the best chance of making a catch. Make it a two score game. There's the handoff. He scores. And the halfback took it in for the score. Yep, he punched that in from a short distance. He had great blocking up front on that play. And he adds the extra point. That score leads us to our drive summary. Taken at the five. Gets to about the 24-yard line. A fumble into this offense's last drive. Let's see as they come out on the field what they'll do this time around. So much in football is about how you respond to adversity. Moving forward after a turnover is a perfect example of that. Here's the halfback. 
the 34. Nothing tentative on that run at all. He looked very determined and got the first down. Stewart, back to throw. Going deep, lays it out there. And he's brought down at the 29-yard line. Big game there for the first down. There was some miscommunication down there by the defense that allowed for that big game. Crew gets a carry left side, and he's taken down around the 28-yard line. I'd say he got one or two feet on that try. The offense calls a timeout. Second and ten. Ball on the 28. Cut, cut. Stewart, back to pass. Throws out to the tight end again, completes. Brought down at the 25-yard line. That pass play gets him roughly three yards. Usually you get a linebacker covering the tight end, so they might want to try some longer passes to exploit that mismatch. Looking to throw. Complete. He's got room. Excellent open field tackle. Madison gains around seven yards with a catch, and that's good for a first down. They've done a great job on this drive with the underneath pass. The quarterback isn't forcing the ball, and you can see how effective he is. Again, he'll get the call. And he carries the ball for a nice game. Game seven. Crew gains seven yards on that play. but they're going to lose yards. He was tackled immediately. A one-yard loss. Not much going on there. Those kind of plays will not work against this defense. You can be sure of that. Stewart drops to throw. Got his receiver. Touchdown. And a nice catch by the receiver for the touchdown. Anytime you're near the red zone, you got to keep an eye for this guy. They love going to him down here. And it takes some real accuracy on those deep corner routes. So kudos to the quarterback. Set and he looks ready to kick this one deep. Fielded at the four. They'll bring him down at the 29. And here comes the offense again. They'll try to make it two touchdowns and two possessions. Great passing was the key for the offense the last time they had the ball. They were able to pick apart the defense and get down the field for a touchdown. Now he's scrambling. Decides to tuck it in, and he's got space. He's taken down at the 43-yard line. The offense calls a timeout. It's first and 10. Ball on their own 43. 